A ladder that is 3 meters long is leaning against a wall. The base of the ladder is d meters from the wall, and the top of the ladder is h meters above the ground. In part a, write a function, h of d, to represent the height of the ladder as a function of its base distance d. The ladder forms a right triangle. The base of the triangle is d, the height of the triangle is h, and the hypotenuse is 3 meters. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we have d squared plus h squared equals 9. We need to isolate the term with h. Bring d squared to the right side of the equation to get h squared equals 9 minus d squared. Square root both sides of the equation to get h equals plus minus the square root of 9 minus d squared. Reject the negative case since the ladder can't have a negative height. Now that we have isolated h, we can write the function h of d equals the square root of 9 minus d squared. In part b, graph the function and state the domain and range. Describe the ladder's orientation when d equals 0 and d equals 3. Write the height function we found in part A and set up the graph. Draw the graph. The domain is between 0 and 3 inclusive, and the range is between 0 and 3 inclusive as well. When d equals 0, the ladder is vertical. When d equals 3, the ladder is horizontal. Now we'll move on to part c. How far is the base of the ladder from the wall when the top of the ladder is root 5 meters above the ground? Let's redraw the graph from part b. Set the height equal to root 5 and solve for d. Square both sides of the equation to get rid of the radical. This gives us 5 equals 9 minus d squared. Isolate d squared on the left side of the equation. Simplify to get d squared equals 4. Square root both sides. This gives us d equals plus minus 2. Reject d equals negative 2 since a ladder can't be behind the wall. The answer is d equals 2, and the point 2, root 5, exists on the graph.